Rosman. I am Sophie from Interlink. Hello, this is Rosman from Interlink. Uh, we are here at BioKorea 2021, uh, one of the most visited biopharma-related exhibitions in Korea. This event has 350 exhibitors, 3,000 visitors, and we are here today to represent our clients from the state of Washington. We are gathering market intelligence and information on potential partners and distributors. Without further ado, let's go inside and explore. Yeah, let's go. To global customers, in order to prevent infectious diseases, the Korean pharmaceutical market was estimated to have reached 21.7 billion US dollars in 2019, making it the 13th largest pharma market in the world. The pharma market has grown at an annual rate of 7.1% over the period of 2015 and 2019, three times faster than the manufacturing sector. Major developments are taking place in the areas of oncology, immuno-oncology, inflammation, gene and cell therapies. Huge amount of investment is flowing into the research and development of novel drugs targeting diverse age-related diseases such as Alzheimer's disease and cardiometabolic disorders. Government five-year plan on supporting and fostering the pharma industry shows the government's strong drive to make Korea become the next Switzerland of APAC in terms of biotechnology. The Korean government is aiming to solve serious issues through investing in the biotechnology while losing the regulations. Today at BioKorea 2021, we met hundreds of exhibitors and visitors across Korea's pharmaceutical industry. In various divisions, new technology and inventions were flourishing and I saw many industry insiders interacting with each other to share the latest news and information. But more is to come. Here at Interlink, with our specialism and access to the latest trends, we assist anyone who are interested in growing business in Korea. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.